software development methodologies. A method is an action, a way of doing something. Methodology is a structured set of methods, practices, process and procedures used to achieve a particular goal. Software development methodologies are the methods by which software is produced. Software development methodologies are build and fix, waterfall method, incremental method, spiral method, clean room, joint application development, rapid application development, and agile. Build and fix model. Software developer creates the first version of the program build and based on the needs of the customer software is repeatedly modified until it satisfied the customer. Waterfall method is a sequential design process in which progress is downwards like a waterfall through the phases of requirements, designs, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Incremental model is a method of software development where the product is designed, implemented, and tested incrementally, added each time until the product is finished. Spiral method is a model of progressive software development that repeatedly passes through phases of planning, risk analysis, engineering and evaluation. The clean room model is based on producing software with a certifiable level of reliability by avoiding software defects. Joint application development is a methodology that involves the client or end user in the design and development of an application. Prototype methodology is defined as a software development model in which a prototype is built, tested, and then reworked when needed until an acceptable prototype is achieved. Rapid Action Development is a software development methodology that uses minimal planning in favor of rapid prototyping. Agile Methodology is a practice that promotes continuous iteration of development and testing throughout the software development lifecycle of the project. Agile methodology practices are Dynamic Systems Development Method, Scrum, Extreme Programming, Test Driven Development, Lean Software Development, and Minimum Viable Product. Dynamic Systems Development Method is a framework that is made up of eight principles, a life cycle and products, roles, and responsibilities and several best practice techniques. Scrum is a framework within which people can address complex adaptive problems while productively and creatively delivering products of the highest possible value. Extreme Programming is an agile software development framework that aims to produce higher quality software and higher quality of life for the development team. Test Driven Development is a software development process where code level testing guides software design and implementation. It is based on the repetition of an extremely short development cycle. Write a test, run tests, write, run tests until it passes, refactor, then repeat. 
Lean Software Development is an agile framework based on optimizing development time and resources, eliminating waste, and ultimately delivering only what the product needs. Minimum Viable Product is a product and development style that produces just enough features to satisfy early customers and enough to provide feedback for directing future product development. Maturity Models Maturity Model is a tool for process improvement. Maturity model shows how capable an organization or system is of achieving continuous improvement. Maturity model provides framework for envisioning the future, the desired state, and the development of improvement plans. Maturity model provides benchmarks for the organization to compare its process internally or externally. Maturity model provide mechanism to provide insight into the improvement path from an immature to a mature process. Maturity model provide disciplined method that is easy for management to understand and implement. Capability maturity model integration is a process level improvement program created to integrate an assessment and process improvement guidelines for separate organizational functions. CMMI development describes best practices for the development and maintenance of products and services across their life cycle. CMMI services is a comprehensive set of guidelines to help organizations establish and improve processes for delivering services. CMMI for acquisition describes best practices for the successful acquisition of products and services. People Capability Maturity Model has key capabilities and best practices to improve people management. Capability Maturity Model Integration Maturity levels are initial, managed, defined, qualitative, managed, and optimized. Initial, also known as Maturity Level 1, describes an organization whose processes are ad hoc or chaotic. Managed, or Maturity Level 2, indicates that processes at this level are planned and executed according to organizational policy, and the management has visibility on work products and defined points. Defined, or Maturity Level 3, relates to processes that are described in standards, procedures, and methods. Qualitatively managed, or maturity level 4, is when an organization uses quantitative objectives for quality and process performance as project management criteria. Optimizing, or maturity level 5, emphasizes continuous improvements through qualitative and statistical methods as well as by responding to changing business needs and technology. Building security in maturity model is a descriptive software security focused maturity model based on actual software security initiatives. Software Assurance Maturity Model is a framework to help organizations formulate and implement a security software strategy that is tailored to the specific risks for the organizations. Software Development Lifecycle Operation and Maintenance The operations and maintenance phase in software development lifecycle is the end of the beginning. Operational problems require operational solutions. Operational solutions focus on controlling access, inputs and variability. Visibility of the software and its environment is a significant component of control. 
logging and monitoring are essential for operational information. Maintenance functions are a natural part of operations. Maintenance, bug fixing, upgrade, enhancement. Bug fixing. Bugs are reported because of some scenarios which are not tested at all. Enhancement. Adding some new features into the existing software. Change management. Change is the addition modification or removal of anything that could have a direct or indirect effect on services. Change management is the formal business process that ensures all change must be controlled. Identify and characterize the need for the change. Make a formal request for change by submitting a ticket for the change request. As is the change request, approve the changes and associated development activities. Implement the change request in a repeated routine of code changes and testing until the change requirements are sufficiently completed. QA tests and verifies that the change is sufficient. Promote the code to the next development stage, which could be production. Report changes to management for their review. The person or group who authorizes a change is known as a change authority. Changes are standard, normal and emergency. Standard changes are pre-authorized and implement without additional authorization. For example, OS upgrade, deploying patch, setting up an user account. Normal changes are authorization based and low risk. Emergency changes are changes that must be implemented as soon as possible. For example, to resolve an incident or implement a security patch. Integrated Product Team Integrated Product Team is a multi-talented group of people from different disciplines responsible for delivering a product. Integrated Product Team ensure that all of the required roles, skills, knowledge, and personal resources available to make product development or software development more efficient and effective. Each specialty brings a unique focus, input, and decision-making to the software development process. Integrated product team comes from integrated product and process development. Integrated product and process development is a management technique that came out of industry to improve competitiveness and customer satisfaction. Integrated product and process development is driven by The integrated product and process development integrates software development activities from requirements gathering and analysis to support to optimize the overall software development process. Integrated product and process development provide insight into its purpose and practice. Customer focus. Co-current development of products and processes. 
early and continuous life cycle planning. Maximize flexibility for optimization and use of contractor unique approaches. Encourage robust design and improved process capability. Event-driven scheduling. Multidisciplinary teamwork. Empowerment. Seamless management tools. Proactive identification and management of risk. An agile team is a form of integrated product team. Clear and effective communication is the cornerstone of agile methodology and development concepts. Techniques and ideas are integrated within The Agile team management and communication patterns connect them with other teams, expertise and entities in an organization for necessary information flow and access to these resources as needed. Agility, automation, rapid development and frequent delivery of working software, new working styles emerged this integration of disciplines and technology has come to be known as DevOps. DevOps breaks down the wall between developers and operations. DevOps enables continuous integration and continuous deployment. DevOps accelerate software delivery and increases software quality and security. DevSecOps takes the DevOps role, automation, infrastructure and workflows and builds in security techniques and continuous attention to security. DevSecOps provides a set of values that include an excellent summary, understanding of what drives DevSecOps. DevSecOps values are learning in, data and security science, open contribution and collaboration, consumable security services with AAPIS, business-driven security scores, Red and Blue Team Exploit Testing 24-7 Proactive Security Monitoring Shared Threat Intelligence and Compliance Operations Programming Languages Security Language has been our primary means of communication and human interaction for thousands of years. Programming language is a computer language programmers use to develop software programs, scripts, or other sets of instructions for computers to execute. C and C++ are critical low-level programming languages. C and C++ access to low-level IT infrastructure such as RAM and system processes, which is not well protected, hackers can easily exploit. C programming language is the backbone of most operating systems. C programming language is a lean flexible and efficient language that can be used to complete a wide range of tasks such as cryptography, image processing, and socket networking. C++ is regarded big brother. C++ is a fantastic language that is largely based. There are several cybersecurity programs created using C++ for example, in map. Personal homepage PHP 
language is designed as a scripting language specifically for rapid development for database driven web pages with quick and convenient database access. PHP is written in C so it can inherit the security vulnerabilities from an insecure implementation of its parent language. ADA language designed for military, avionics and real-time systems was designed with an emphasis on safety and security. Safety and security required by the types of software programs set high standards for the ADA language. Java is another language that is designed with security built in. Security aspects of a programming language Safe typing, safe pointers, safe architecture, safe paradigm implementation, safe object construction, memory management garbage collection, invalid access protections, save and manage error, inspection handling, save startup, save communication, save co-currency deadlock detection and resolution, security patterns and frameworks, secure execution environment, developers security expertise, database management system, Data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observations or just descriptions of things. A database is a structured collection of data. For example, structured SQL database. A database management system is a software application that manages databases. A database management system allows for the definition, creation, querying, update, and administration of databases. Standards such as SQL provide some degree of interoperability between database management system. Open database connectivity and Java database connectivity. Database management system Functionality falls into four main classifications, data definition, update, retrieval, and administration. Data definition allows for the creation, modification, and removal of database definitions. Update facilities are the insertion, modification, and deletion of the actual data. Retrieval provides information in a form that is usable to the calling environment. Administrations are registering and monitoring users, enforces data security, monitors performance, maintenance, data integrity, manages co-currency control and provides recovery of information. Database management system are data definition language, data dictionary, and data manipulation language. A data definition language is a computer language used to create and modify the structure of database objects in the database. A data manipulation language is a computer programming language used for adding, deleting, and modifying data in a database. A data dictionary contains metadata, data about the database. Deployment environments. A deployment environment is a relatively isolated information systems environment that is dedicated to the requirements and hosting of particular classes of applications and services. Standard deployment environments are known as development, integration, test, staging, and production. Each standard deployment has its level of trust and security. 
software changes are made in the development environment. This environment is typically a workstation. The integration environment is where developers' changes are combined and compiled together. The integration environment is used to verify code, quality, safety, security, and integration. The test deployment environment is the next stage of quality control where various automated quality measures aren't test. The staging environment is used to test all installation, configuration and migration scripts and procedures before they are applied to the production environment. The production environment is when the software goes live. Configuration management as an aspect of secure coding. Configuration management is a fundamental aspect of secure coding. Configuration management is maintaining a durable configuration history. Configuration management is providing a foundation for a secure coding environment. Configuration management is creating secure baselines. Configuration item is a service asset that needs to be managed in order to deliver an IT service. Configuration management system holds all the information about configuration item within the designed scope. For example, a service configuration item will include the details such as supplier, cost, purchase date and renewal date for licenses and maintenance contracts. Related documentation. A baseline is an agreed description of attributes of a product at a point in time which serves as a basis for defining change. A version is a concept that describes the unchangeable state of a configuration item, a set of configuration items and a baseline. A change set is a group of related changes to configuration items that have been changed and it is the basis of how changes to the software systems are controlled. A branch identifies a set of versioned configuration items that are being developed in parallel to the main configuration. A main branch is the base configuration from which all other branches are derived. Security of code repositories Repository refers to a central place where data is stored and maintained. A source code repository is an archive with the code as well as the hosting facility for this software. Confidentiality, integrity and availability need to consideration when determining the best method to protect your source code. Security challenges and use of code repositories. Disgruntled employees, careless actors, contractors. External threats such as hackers. Ransomware Denial of service Disclosure or theft of sensitive data or intellectual property Of sensitive data or intellectual property Assess the effectiveness of software security auditing and logging of changes Logging provides an authoritative record of activities and events in a system. 
Audits are used to discover information on operational effectiveness as well as to provide evidence related to an compliance. The security capabilities of logging and auditing work together to address specific concerns in the software development environment. Security capabilities of logging and auditing are Error and expectation management Source code management Operational environment logging Detecting authorized and unauthorized changes Running software Security oversight Performance management Configuration changes Cloud environment changes, changes in security posture, security incident response, security control verification, security information and even management, forensics, PCI, HIPAA, Mars E, and Omnibus. Error and exception management is the process of handling problem situations in running software. Fatal is when there is a problem with the program or service that is require its termination. An error is a problem for an operation but not for the overall program or service. Warn is for events that may cause unusual application behavior. Info is any useful information about the system to be logged. Debug should be reserved for development purposes to improve the code. Trace should be reserved for development purposes where there is a need to trace into execution. Source code management is a business and technical process that controls the record, management, sharing and versionizing of source code. Source code management or source code accountability source code integrity and verification source code accountability traces all changes made back to the original developers who committed the changes so that when problematic code or configurations are identified source code integrity reveal program modifications that either converge or diverge from requirements verification is the process of ensuring the completeness and correctness of the code logging captures events that occur in the operational environment Detecting authorized and unauthorized changes is one of the most effective ways to support security. Software running in a production environment is the front line of cyber security. Logging events that have a security impact support security oversight of running software. Performance in the operational environment should be maintained at a service level that satisfies customers. All configuration changes should be traced to an approved requirement for the change. All changes to the cloud environment should be logged according to security requirements. Security posture is based on its security policies, standards, guidelines, and procedures. Security-related event logs can be sent to Security Information and Event Management SIEM system. 
Security Information and Event Management SIEM system analyzes and correlates security events to discover and respond to security situations. Security control verification confirms that a security control is performing as expected. Forensics is the scientific process of collecting, analyzing and presenting evidence. Forensics is the scientific process of collecting, analyzing and presenting evidence. The payment card industry data security standard BCIDSS is maintained by the payment card industry security standards council. The payment card industry data security standard was created in 2004 by Mastercard, Visa, Discover, JCB and American Express to establish a universal platform to prevent fraud when credit card information is being transmitted. HIPAA in U.S. legislation that provides data privacy and security provisions for safeguarding medical information. Mars E version 2 provides security guidance that supports the mandates of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act of 2010 and the Department of Health and Human Services. The HIPAA Omnibus Final Rule, put into effect in 2013 by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, was instituted to modify the HIPAA to provide patients with more flexibility and control over their personal health information and strengthen the existing HIPAA privacy and security protections of health information. Risk Analysis and Mitigation A threat is newly discovered incident that has the potential to harm a system. Worms and viruses are categorized as threats because they could cause exposure to an automated attack. A vulnerability is weakness of an asset that can be exploited by attackers. A weakness in a firewall that lets hackers get into a computer network. Risk is defined as the potential for loss or damage when a threat exploits a vulnerability. Financial losses, loss of privacy, reputational damage, legal implications and loss of life. Risk, Threat, and Vulnerability Risk analysis is an effort to identify vulnerabilities and their related threats, assess the potential costs of exploitation and determine appropriate and cost-effective security controls. Four Goals of Risk Analysis Identify the assets to protect. Identify the assets' vulnerabilities and related threats. Provide realistic information on the probability and impact to an organization of a risk's occurrence. Determine the best way to handle the risk based on a cost-benefit analysis of different ways to manage the risk. Risk analysis methodologies are NIST SP 800-30, Risk Management Guide for Information Technology Systems, Octave, Octave Allegro, ISO or LEC 27005, Failure Modes and Effect Analysis, Fault Tree Analysis. 
Science TSP 800 Management Guide for Information Focus is on information technology threats and their relationship with information security risks. NIST SP 800-30 Risk Assessment Activities are System Characterization Threat Identification Vulnerability Identification Control Analysis Likelihood Determination Impact Analysis Risk Determination Control Recommendations and Result Documentation Octave Operationally Critical Threat Asset Vulnerability Evaluation Octave is a framework for identifying and managing information security risks created by the Carnegie Mellon Engineering Institute, SEI. Octave phases are Phase 1. Build enterprise-wide security requirements. Phase 2. Identify infrastructure vulnerabilities. Phase 3. Determine security risk management strategy. Octave Allegro is designed for an organization to assess information security risks, but within time, stuff and resource constraints. Establish risk measurement criteria. Develop an information asset profile. Identify information asset containers. Identify areas of concern. Identify threat scenarios. Identify risks. Analyze risks. Select a mitigation approach. ISO or IEC Technology Security Techniques Information Security Risk International Standard for Risk Management Practices Within the Context of an Information Security Management System Failure Modes and Effect Analysis is a structured and systematic process to determine failures and the effects of those failures. False tree analysis is a top-down failure analysis approach that detectively analyzes failure events in a system. Risk analysis, quantitative risk analysis and qualitative risk analysis. Quantitative risk analysis examines risks that can be measured numerically or monetarily. Asset value exposure factor single loss expectancy, annualized rate of occurrence, and annual loss expectancy. Asset value is the value of an asset to an organization. Exposure factor is the potential percentage of asset loss caused by an identified trait. Single loss expectancy is the percentage loss of value to an asset expected from the realization of a risk. Annualized rate of occurrence is the annualized rate of occurrence is the probability that a risk will occur within a year. Annual loss expectancy is the percentage loss of value to an asset expected from the realization of risk over a year. Annualized rate of occurrence is the estimate of how often a given threat might occur annually. AL is the expected risk factor of an annual threat event. The risk that remains after the implementation of 
countermeasures is known as the residual risk. Total risk, threats, vulnerability, asset value. Residual risk, total risk, security control. Qualitative risk analysis consider risks based on their likelihood, impact, and severity. Qualitative risk equals to likelihood and to impact. Reduction, transfer, avoidance, acceptance. Risk reduction is the process of reducing the risk to the point where it is acceptable to the organization. Risk transfer is when risk is legally assigned to a third party. Risk avoidance is when an organization chooses to deflect to terminate situations that cause a risk. Risk acceptance is the assumption of risk. Assess security impact of acquired software. An acquisition is a process through which one organization buying another organization. For example, Bharti Airtel acquired Zane Africa, February 2010. When an organization acquires software, it also acquires the risks related to that software. Commercial off-the-shelf software is software that are ready-made and available for sale to the general public. For example, Microsoft Office is a COTS product that is a packaged software solution for business. Software development outsourcing describes a situation in which an organization chooses to hire a third-party programmer to offer services related to software development. Open source software is computer software whose source code has been made publicly available. Acquire software four phases, planning, contracting, monitoring and accepting, follow up in planning phase organization performs a needs assessment develops the software requirements creates the acquisition strategy and develops evaluation criteria and a plan in contracting phase organization creates a request for proposal or other supplier solicitation forms Evaluates the supplier proposals and negotiates the final contract with the selected seller. In monitoring and accepting phase, organization establishes the contract work schedule, implements change control procedures and reviews and accepts the software deliverables. In follow-up phase, organization must sustain the software, including managing risks and changes. The Capability Maturity Model Integration for Acquisition Version 1.3 Model provides best practice guidance to an organization for applying CMMI when acquiring products and services. Software Assurance is the degree of certainty that software is free from vulnerabilities of all kinds and that its functionality meets all acceptations required of it. Seven principles for software assurance. Risk drives assurance decisions. Risk concerns shall be aligned across all stakeholders and all interconnected technology. Dependencies shall not be trusted until proven trustworthy. Attacks shall be accepted. Assurance requires effective communication among technology participants. 
Assurance shall be well planned and dynamic. A means to measure and audit overall assurance shall be built in. Certification is a technical evaluation of a compliance with specific standards to which it should conform. Accreditation is that management understands the overall security of the evaluated system and formally accepts the risks. Security weaknesses and vulnerabilities at the source code level. A software weakness is a bug, flaw or error in the software. Architecture, design and code of a program. Common examples of software weakness. Buffer overflow, format strings, authentication errors, insufficient data validation, and code injection. Common weakness enumeration and OWASP top 10. The Common Weakness Enumeration is a community-developed list of common software and hardware security weaknesses. The OWASP Top 10 Most Critical Web Application Security Risks list is an essential resource for the security practitioner. OWASP Top 10 Application Security Risks Injection Broken Authentication Sensitive Data Exposure XML External Entities Broken Access Control Security Misconfiguration Cross-Site Scripting Using Components with Known Vulnerabilities Insufficient logging monitoring, cross site request forgery, injection vulnerabilities, injection vulnerabilities are flaws that allow attackers to inject malicious code in another system using an application. When an application accepts user inputs and allows these inputs to enter a database, shell command or operating system making application susceptible to an injection flaw. The flaws are a result of insufficient input validation. Types of injection flaws SQL injection Command injection, LDAP injection, XPath injection, and XML injection. SQL injection where attackers insert malicious SQL code into a SQL database to provide unauthorized access to private data. Command injection is an attack in which the goal is execution of arbitrary commands on the host operating system via a vulnerable application. LDAP injection is an attack used to exploit web-based applications that construct LDAP statements based on user input. Similar to SQL injection, XPath injection attacks occur when a website uses user-supplied information to construct an XPath query for XML data. XML injection is an attack technique used to manipulate or compromise the logic of an XML application or service. Broken Authentication Broken authentication is the breach in the authentication procedure of a web application. Broken authentication vulnerabilities. Plain text passwords in transit. Plain text passwords at rest. 
weak passwords, single factor authentication, password guessing, man in the browser attack, and session hijacking. Plain text passwords in transit transmits a clear text password via an HTTP connection, then password will be communicated in plain text and at risk from ever dropping. Plain text passwords at rest means that anyone who looked through the database would be able to just read the database. Weak password is a password that is easy to detect both by humans and by computer. Single factor authentication is a process for securing access to a system. Identifies requesting access through only the category of credentials. Password guessing is the process of attempting to gain access to a system through the systemic guessing of passwords. Password guessing can be prevented by using a capture. Password guessing can be prevented by delaying subsequent login attempts after each failure. Password guessing can be prevented by locking out the account completely. Man in the browser, MITB, attack utilizes a Trojan horse in a pre-infected device slash system to infect the internet browser, and sniff, capture and modify information as it travels between the user interface of the infected browser and the internet. Man in the browser attack can be migrated to do not install browser extensions or add-ons from untrusted sources. Man in the browser attack can be mitigated to keep your operating system and browser up to date. Man in the browser attack can be mitigated to install and update anti-malware. Session hijacking refers to an attacker's ability to take over a portion of a session and act as one of the participants. As users interact with a web application, application needs to keep track of which requests came from which users. Session tokens are used to connect desperate HTTPs request to a single user. Guessing. Secure session tokens must be generated by a cryptographically secure pseudo-random number generator. Brute force. Secure session tokens must be long enough at least 128 bits. Session tokens must also be invalidated when the user successfully logs in and logged off. Sensitive data exposure occurs when an application or program does not adequately protect information such as passwords, payment info, or health data. Sensitive data exposure vulnerability. Transmission of sensitive data in the clear. Lack of appropriate HTTP security headers used to mitigate the possibility of man-in-the-middle attacks. Incorrectly configured HTTP headers. Weak chippers. Storing user password in plain text. Extensible markup language. XML is a standard platform independent markup language that defines format rules for encoding data. An attacker could abuse XML features to carry out denial of service attacks, access logical files, 
generate network connections to other machines or circumvent firewalls. XML mitigation techniques using a less complex file format. Ensuring XML parser library is current. Properly configure XML parser and disable security sensitive options. Using positive server side sanitization to validate input and prevent malicious code. Application firewall monitor for XXE attacks. Broken access control occurs when a server does not properly validate every request. Server validates admin page but does not validate the post or get from that page. An attacker with knowledge of the post or get URL bypassing the validation. An attacker who tempers parameters can bypass validation. Always check the identity and authority of user to perform the requested operation on every request. Security misconfiguration. Web application, network services, platform, web server, application server, database, frameworks, custom code, pre-installed virtual machines, containers, and storage. Preventing security misconfigurations. Default accounts must be disabled. Unnecessary features and services must be disabled. Error reports must be locked. Security headers must be enabled and properly configured. Cross-site scripting is an exploit where the attacker attaches code onto a legitimate website that will execute when the victim loads the website. Cross-site scripting attacks are stored and reflected. Stored attacks are injected script is permanently stored on the target servers such as in a database, in a message forum, visitor log or comment field, etc. Reflected attack victim clicking on a carefully crafted link, for example, in an email or another website that sends malicious script to the target website. The mitigation is to never trust user input. Using components uh, with vulnerabilities, keeping an accurate inventory of all the components of web application is important. Automated vulnerability management tools to scan web application and detected packages against a database of known vulnerabilities. Exploitation of insufficient logging and monitoring is the dead drug of nearly every major incident. Logging must capture all relevant events. Logging must record details. Logging must be centralized. Logging must be immutable. Monitoring should alert when limits are exit. 
cross site request forgery is an attack that forces an end user to execute unwanted actions on a web application in which they are currently authenticated. Cross site request forgery attacks specifically target state changing requests like transferring funds, changing their email address, not theft of data. Cross-site request forgery token is a unique random value that is prevent cross-site request forgery attacks. Security of application programming interfaces. An application programming interface allows an application to communicate with another application or an operating system, database, network, etc. For example, the Google Maps API allows an application to integrate third-party content, such as locations of places overlaid on a Google Map. API security focuses on strategies and solutions to understand and mitigate the unique vulnerabilities and security risks of application programming interfaces. API Security Top 10 2019 API 1 2019 broken object level authorization API 2 2019 broken user authentication API 3 2019 Excessive Data Exposure API 4 2019 Lack of Resources and Rate Limiting API 5 2019 Broken Function Level Authorization API 6 2019 Mass Assignment API 7 2019 Security Misconfiguration API 8 2019 Injection API 9 2019 Improper Assets Management API 10 2019 Insufficient Logging and Monitoring Secure Coding Practices Carnegie Mellon Engineering Institute produces good coding standards. SEI's top 10 secure coding practices are Validate input Heat compiler warnings Architect and design for security policies Keep it simple Default deny Adhere to the principle of last privilege Sanitize data sent to other systems Practice defense in depth. Use effective quality assurance techniques. Adapt a secure coding standard. Validate input from all untrusted data sources. Compile code using the highest warning level available for your compiler and eliminate warnings by modifying the code. Create a software architecture and design your software to implement and enforce security policies. Keep the design as simple and small as possible. By default, access is denied and the protection scheme identifies conditions under which access is permitted. 
every process should execute with the least set of privileges necessary to complete the job. Sanitize all data paths to complex subsystems such as command shells, relational databases, and commercial off-the-shelf COTS, components. Manage risk with multiple defensive strategies, so that if one layer of defense turns out to be inadequate, another layer of defense can prevent a security flaw. Good quality assurance techniques can be effective in identifying and eliminating vulnerabilities. Develop and or apply a secure coding standard for your target development language and platform.